Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. I messed up in yesterday's video. Several of you have called it out. And the reason was, and I'm not making excuses, but the reason was, is I just did not know the Pokemon's abilities intuitively. So if I'm using Zapdos, I know he can hop over other Pokemon who aren't legendary birds. Well, Verizion has a very similar ability. And while I was thinking about it earlier in the game, at the end of the game, there was a moment where I could have hopped over a Pokemon, gotten the win, and I didn't do it because I didn't intuitively know Verizion has that same ability. So today I'm going to highlight Verizion. <laughs> what better way to learn about a Pokemon, and, and probably don't do this in, in League Play, but I'm making videos for you guys, so I'm going to take more risks that I'm going to advise that you take. But that's why they have room matches. And so you can learn the figures, play with the figures in, in game situations to figure out what their abilities are, how they work, how they fit onto your team, and, and I didn't do that because I'm going to go ahead and throw them into league play. I'm going to try to use them. And sometimes I'm going to make mistakes. So with all that being said, this is one of the three new EX Pokemon. He's a grass fighting type. And if you watched yesterday's video and or saw the comments, he has the ability to move over non-flying type Pokemon on the field using an MP move. Very similar to how Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos are able to soar over other Pokemon who don't have soar. He's got a... I, I'm still in level 1. I don't think he's been leveled up at all. He's got a 24 wheel slice of Grass Knot. If the battle opponent's attack is 120 damage or higher, the opponent is knocked out instead of this Pokemon. That's actually 121. If they roll a 120, um, they are not knocked out. So it's it's 121. I believe that has been tested and proven. If, if that's incorrect, let me know in the comments below. But I do believe that is correct. Um... Sword of Justice is a 101, and I have not chain leveled this. They actually started it at 101. I'm actually a fan of that. Very cool. Typhoon Slash. This Pokemon may switch places with its battle opponent. So that's going to kind of be like a uh, fake out, if you will remember, with Weasel and I believe Meowth have that ability where they switch places. And he does come with an eight size miss. That might actually be nine at the beginning. I, I can't remember if I've leveled him up a level. I don't think I have. So it may just be eight. So at level five, he'll probably have a four miss. He's very versatile. He's a really good counter to Metagross. Because as you can see, his 40 is going to beat the 30 that Metagross has. His 40 is also going to beat... The 150 that Metagross has. His 101 is going to beat the 90 or the 30. And his um, purple, two star purple move, is going to beat everything but Metagross's gold. We're just going to jump right into league play. And I do have this is a forest deck. That, that's what I'm going to call it. So we're going to hop into a game. I've got other of the new Pokemon. Not really going to highlight them. And like always when I'm doing a, a spotlight video, I'm going to try to play well. But if I have an opportunity to showcase one of the highlighted Pokemon's moves or abilities, I'm probably going to take that option just to kind of show him off. So here we go. We've got Deoxys A. Zapdos, um, just kind of a mix of a lot of different Pokemon, actually. I guess if he's running 
tropical. I don't know. I don't know what the synergy is on this team, quite honestly. He might just be relying on having. We can go ahead and then Zapdos out. It looks like he's just going with brute strength. So we're actually going to swap out these two. And if he wants to press forward with Zapdos, I'll drop my Zapdos right there on the corner, which he wants to do. That's okay. Switch hurdle jump, hurdle jump. We will go ahead and bring our boy Verizion down here on the baseline. And we're going to get right up in his grill on this one. If he wants to hurdle jump, we've got the easy surround, so I don't foresee him doing that. And then we will just hop over one more. And we'll see what he wants to do here. He wants to do nothing. So we will actually just jump up here. Treviant. Treviant, probably, since he looks like a tree. Okay. Um don't really actually I do we'll do that and then it's my turn and because treviant just and uh god what the heck is his name heatran just battled heatran became a grass type so i can pass through him and get the surround kill in the corner and now i'm threatening his goal as well so very good there And then I don't want to get hurdle jumped here, so I'm going to block that back off. Very nice surround kill there. We are going to just kind of press forward here. Ooh. That was not good. Unfortunate spin there. And it's because I don't have these. I mean, these Pokemon are mostly still level one. I have started bumping them up a little bit, but due to my lack of coins. Oh, that was very, that was most unfortunate. And we are just going to max revive because he is my best threat against uh, Deoxys A because he can respin into 140. Because Deoxys A is definitely a threat. And I do need to get my tropical energy plate enacted, but I've got to, I've got to set up a little bit here. I can't spend a turn. Oh, that's terrible. Two really bad spins right there. And I've got to get in a position where I'm not losing a Pokemon on a, on a spin in order to enact this plate so he can't respin me anymore. So we will drop in the Tropical Energy. And that's going to cut away Deoxys' ability to respin. There he goes. Now he's gone back to the bench. We are going to press forward. Or not back. Yeah, just back to the bench, not the Poke Center. Okay, 
I'm okay with that. Let's see. I have a feeling he's going to hurdle jump here, so I don't want to get too far away from my goal. And I don't have a hurdle jump. So I need to back off of there because I want to go for this round on Heatran over here, but I don't want to set myself up to get... Oh. Not getting any spins at the moment. That's going to kind of change things up a bit. We're just going to back up. Trying to get a couple favorable spins, and it's just not working at all at this moment. Trying to set up some surround kills. Have not even been able to get Rizion into a game here, into the game really, but we're going to do it there. That way if he soars over me, I've got the easy surround. Man. Most unfortunate. We'll close that off. And that's going to force him to hurdle jump into the corner. Or he could always back up. That is an option. And man, this game does not want me to do anything at the moment. Okay, do I want to switch with him? I think I do. And then we're going to bring out Septile. Okay, finally. Finally, finally, get a, a nice roll there. And he's still threatening, but we're going to pull up Septile here. Hopefully he's just going to try to attack and I can roll 140 and knock him out. Or Dimensional Slip knocks him out. And we can start applying pressure on his goal here. Which is always the case. You always want to try to apply pressure to the goal. I don't know that I need any extra power. So here we go. Try to go for the complete elimination. And that was a very nice spin there. And now I've got a great advantage because it's going to be four on three for the rest of the match. And he's forced to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just try to end this game right here. With a dimensional slip, he's going to be out. He's going to try to come back in. A, he's going to have to attack or he's going to lose. And he gets another dimensional slip. But it wouldn't have mattered at that point. Because we did spin our 140. Septile will cap for the victory. We are off to a really good start here. We've jumped over the 2600 rank, which is cool. Verizion didn't get a whole lot of action in that game, but we're going to press forward. We did, I did show that the, the, the Typhoon move where he switched places with the other Pokemon. And that actually kept Magmar from threatening to take over my entry point. And this team here has a Metagross. 
So we're definitely going to try to, we're going to, we're not going to force anything here, but we're definitely going to look to try to get Verizion up against Metagross. And that's the thing is when you have these really good matchups that, that are in your favor, you don't want to force the matchup, but you definitely want to look for those matchups. Um, we are going to go with Septile up on Greninja. I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good matchup there. I don't know what I'm going to use to counter Mew though. This deck is really susceptible to, um, to gold attacks. So we'll drop Verizion over here. I don't have anything that will cause respins. So I'm not sure he's going to be in a major hurry to get Metagross out onto the field. And he just wants to straight up approach, which is fine. We have ways of countering that. With our own Zapdos. And that is okay. What we're going to do is we're going to switch out. And the reason why I do that switch right there is because, and we'll go over a video on Treviant, but Treviant's going to, anybody who attacks him is going to turn into a grass type. And that allows me to move, and we, you saw that last video with uh, Heatran, but that allows me to move my Leafy on freely around the board. So what I can do here is, if he doesn't hurdle jump, and he'd be kind of dumb to hurdle jump over here. But what I can do is, once I get my board set up, I can attack with Treviant into Zapdos, and then go for the surround kill over here. And that works out really well for us with Metagross being entered on this side of the field. So we can possibly set up a surround of Magikarp and then have access to the Metagross. All that being said, we're going to go ahead and attack here. As long as he doesn't go purple on our gold or gold on our purple, we're safe there. And now he's roosted, so he's going to get surrounded. I don't even know if he knows that or not. He does, so he's going to go ahead and throw that there with Mew. And a lot of people don't hold a runner back that late. So the fact that he had a runner to cover that was fortunate for him. But now, as you can see, he is a grass type. Destiny's Bond. That worked out really well for us. We're going to press here. I don't even know. What does he have? He has one hurdle jump, but he's not going to use it with Greninja because that's a surround. We're just kind of limiting what he can do here. And now, if we can get... I could hop over there, but that's not going to do a whole lot. We're going to actually attack Magikarp and hope to get that right there. Which is going to be the surround of Magikarp. Oh, no! That was terrible. I, I did not take that into account. That was a bad play on my part. So let's just... Bad, bad play on my part. Um, not really sure what we want to do next. Back down here. 
Ah. Can't believe I did that. I don't want to get myself spread too thin. I feel like I'm on the verge of, of getting myself spread out too much. Let's go take out his ho-oh. -oh. And I just got him surrounded too. That was terrible. Really, really poor playing right now on my part. Really poor. Just not not looking a step ahead and I've, I've the reason why I'm down all these Pokemon right now is because I keep making mistakes and I just made another one as far as losing my entry point here man simple simple little mistakes and you get you get punished for making mistakes and I am definitely being punished for making mistakes here really bad but we can turn it around we can play smarter moving forward we're just having to scramble a little bit at this point um i guess he's using ai tickets because no human would have respun into a dodge let me make sure he doesn't have a hurdle jump and he does have a hurdle jump which changes what i'm going to do here and he'll probably hurdle jump onto my entry point which we knew okay. And we've kind of set ourselves up to be in trouble here. We're going to have to win consecutive battles. And we're getting roosted. Oh, no, we're not, because he rolled blue as well. We're going to have to win consecutive battles in order to get out of this hole that we're in. And that's never a good position, and we're not going to do it. So when you make stupid plays and... Make no make no mistake, I made really dumb play. What, what is he doing? Okay, that was dumb. But when you make really dumb plays, and I made two huge costly mistakes, you get beat. And it's not bad RNG. It's I put myself in a position where... Um, my Pokemon were, I was down Pokemon and I was out of position because of really dumb plays that I made. So there you go. It's, that's the way the game works. You make bad plays, you get punished for it. We're going to jump into one more. So back in the final game here, we're going to... Erase last game's terrible, terrible play. Got impatient, wasn't seeing the board real clearly, and we're going to wipe that away, starting anew. We've got Decoder here, and um, we're going to play smarter. Definitely want to try to get Verizion into the game. Um, when, when you're playing with him, you want to get him close to their goal, and I've just never even had the opportunity to do such. And the reason why you want to get him closer to their goal is because of the, the Typhoon, um, oh, what's it called, Slash, which is going to allow you to switch places with the other Pokemon. We'll just, kind of like a Shuppets round, and if you're running against in a gym cup, if you're running against a bunch of other grass types, Leafeon's gonna be basically Shuppet, where he can go anywhere he wants on the board. 
definitely something to keep an eye out on for the possible upcoming gym. That's a favorable matchup for us. I think, yeah. That's decent. Yeah. All right. What does he have? Two hurdle jumps. We're going to bring our last Pokemon out onto the field. And then we're going to move forward with Brizion here. He's on the same side with Metagross, which I like. Not going to be able to um, hurdle jump us here. I could go into the middle, although that would be um, setting up an easy surround. We're, we're going to try not to do dumb plays this time. And so, what we're going to do is flip those two. Did I even use my Max Revive last game? I don't think I did. I'm still learning this deck, and I forget what plates I have sometimes, which is bad. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's that's not a good thing. Your plates are there to help you. It's actually a pretty decent matchup for us there. Not sure if maybe he got disconnected or what. He's taking a long time here. It's a nice dodge. That's always good. Still can't hurdle jump over him. Um, I'm going to have to move my Zapdos back so he doesn't hurdle jump over here and um, get the easy surround kill. And I can't hurdle jump over him there because then it's a super easy surround kill for him. There he goes with that. I'm actually going to attack here. Draining wind. Maybe Leafeon? I don't know. I don't really know what he's going to do here. Nice dodge. So we're kind of at a little bit of a standstill here. Um, not really. He definitely wants to get rid of my Whimsicott. I guess I don't blame him. But at the same time, it doesn't really seem to be working out too well for him at the moment. And... What are we going to do? We're just going to step back over here so he doesn't soar over us. And it's very unusual that I'm over a minute ahead of my opponent in time. We're going to try to let him make a mistake here. He is absolutely hellbent on trying to take out my... My, um... My, my Whimsicott there. Um, we'll just move up. Let's 
<laughs> I guess he's going for the the gold on the, um, the purple attack. I don't know. Whimsicott can be very annoying and very difficult to take out if he's stuck rolling dodges. He's going to get his Thunder Charge. Which, you know what, I'm fine. He can electrocute anybody he wants. I haven't used my Tropical Energy plate yet. So if, um... Once he electrocutes him, I'll just use my Tropical Energy and negate the effects. I didn't really have a move that I was in love with for my next turn anyways. So that's fine. We'll just make him make a decision again. <laughs> All right, we are gonna try to knock we're going to try to do this again. Okay. So we're going to get the first bit of movement here. I might actually bring Septile back here so I can get Verizion up the lane over there to start going after his uh, Metagross. <laughs> that is of course, depending upon what happens there. And Cotton Guard is doing its job of just guarding the cotton. <laughs> I wonder at this point if he's just gotten the mindset of, I'm going to keep attacking this one Pokemon until it dies. All right. So we're going to go there which is going to free up Verizion to drive this lane where I feel like we have a good matchup against Metagross. That's all determined. That's all what I'm thinking I want to do. But if something happens over on this side of the field, obviously we will react accordingly. And I'm pretty close to getting my Whimsicott a another chain level. So he'll be 44 and um, to level five, but I've got a lot of things I need to spend some coins on, and I just don't have a lot of coins. I have been doing the missions, um, the, the single player missions to, to get coins. Ooh. Okay, well, we're definitely going to have to move Septile off of there. So that actually, if I'd have left him there, everybody <laughs> he'd have electrocuted all of his Pokemon. <laughs> Which would have been really funny. Maybe I should have left Septile there. But as is, they're both going to get electrocuted. I'm still going to go up here. And the only bad matchup we have there is if you get a miss. And we roll the miss. We've got Max Arrive. We're not done. I think Whimsicott loses his dodge. <laughs> Max revive. Yes, we want to bring on back. We'll just go right up here. Undeterred. And I don't have a hurdle jump. Like, if you guys are wondering. Why don't I just hurdle jump and surround his Zapdos? I don't have hurdle jump. I'm interested to see what he does since he doesn't, he can't move Zapdos this turn. Okay. You're going to go right back after Metagross. And knock him out. 
Very nice. It took an extra turn, but we did get the mission accomplished there. And this guy, Decoder, has spent the entire game trying to knock out Whimsicott, which I find very comical, actually. And now we have set up um, Yvettel to be surrounded in two turns. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to go over here. Probably bring Ho -Oh down. I mean, he spent all that time trying to knock out Whimsicott. Oh, okay. So he doesn't like my runners. Well, that is unfortunate there. We go back down. If he moves his Yavetel, he might just take Verizion. Wow. This guy loves him some Zapdos. I don't know what he's going to do now that his Zapdos has been um, knocked out of the, knocked to the, to the Poke Center. I can't imagine spending the better part of three minutes of a game using one Pokemon. But hey, what do I know? Just gonna start applying pressure. I've got a huge time advantage. There's really no need for me to attack at this point. I'm gonna make him do all the work. And I'm just gonna try to pinch him in. Probably bring a Curlia down the lane here. I almost feel like this guy doesn't know how to attack with anybody other than Zapdos. Because I have not seen him do make any kind of a play with anybody. Very interesting. Um... Let's see. Let's try to move Zapdos up. That's a great matchup for me. But if I miss, it's the game. So we'd rather lose Tre Treviant than the game. But he does have another, he has another hurdle jump, so he could get there. That's not that big of a deal. Definitely can pull you back one. That's an easy fix. It's a really bad matchup for him. I, I guess he could try to attack my Zapdos with his Yavetel. Yeah, but that's such a bad matchup for him. I, I can't see. I can't see him doing it. In fact, I really don't even think I need Whimsicott there. I could probably Whimsicott forward and try to cap off this other goal here. 
Although, at the same time, he only has a minute left. I will actually trade. And then I'm going to force his hand right here. And then on the next one, I'm going to attack his restroom because I can end the game with the Typhoon, typhoon uh, Slash. Pretty much our purple is our best bet right here, or we could just straight knock him out. Um, he has no gold block, he has no hurdle switch. His only option is to attack with Ho-Oh at this point. And he could get Rainbow Wing and land back on his goal. Definitely a desperation move at this point. And the neutral turn is going to provide victory for our feature Pokemon, Verizion. So we went two wins and one loss, and the loss was completely our fault. We totally played that incorrectly, and that's what happened. So I know it wasn't a full in-depth on Verizion. This video is way too long as it is, but I hope you kind of see a little bit of his usefulness, what he can do. Put him in a game, let me know what you think of him, and as we keep going on in games, I will make sure to point out some of his highlights. I'm working on teams that include him in them, so there will be more opportunities, and man, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and until next time.